We're trying to get answers for you tonight about what's happening with food stamps during the shutdown. Nearly 13% of American families get that food assistance. And that includes one and a half million people that live in mm -hmm. our region. And right now, we are finding a lot of confusion about when their benefits might get cut off. So here's Scott Broom to tell us what he's learned. Okay, I'm in Maryland this evening. 684,000 state residents get the SNAP food stamp benefits here. Another 135,000 get WIC, which is food assistance for families with kids. If they cut it off, I don't eat. I, I work, but I don't make enough. Without WIC, I, I can't feed my babies. Tonight, there is confusion about the government shutdown and reports that these programs will run out of money in the coming weeks, but there has been no answers from the federal government or the states about what's going to happen or what the deadline actually is. We're concerned, though, about the duration of the shutdown. Here's D.C. City Administrator handling the question today. I mean, if we get much past, uh, much towards the end of the month and certainly into the next month, uh, we're going to be even more concerned about those benefits, and so our team uh, are, are meeting this week to talk about what contingency plans we might need to put in place if, in fact, the shutdown continues. I was worried because we only had two cans of food for the baby, and I'm trying to explain to my kids, hey, the president shut down the government so you can't eat. I think it's awful. Food stamp benefits called SNAP are loaded on electronic benefits cards and used like a debit card at stores. Next month they might not be doing the independence card, and then I won't be able to eat. So according to congressional budget experts, these programs will probably run out of money in early to mid-February. But again, the USDA is not confirming any of that, leaving 42 million Americans, that's nearly 13% of the population, anxious about what's going to happen with their food benefits. Scott Broom, WUSA 9.